Hey everybody, Neil Kravitz here. I hope you're enjoying these daily clinical pearls. Just a reminder, when you're using your Mara, we don't want any more than 14 turns. If you expand more than 14 turns in the upper arch, those upper elbows will not engage those lower ramps. If you need more than 14 turns and you want to use a Mara and not a Herbst, do the upper expansion as much as you need, then scan for the lower component and the lab will make the lower component wide enough to balance the expanded upper component. So 14 turns in the upper arch. But there's another pearl here that I want you to know. After 14 days, you're done expanding if you're doing the traditional approach that I just mentioned. But don't have the patient come back two months later. Have them come back uh, two to three weeks after, uh, later. So you're seeing the patient immediately after expansion. If you wait too long following expansion before you put the elbows in, the patient will occlude on those upper tubes and flatten those upper square tubes and you won't be able to get your elbow in. So the pearl here, there's two pearls here. Ideally, just do 14 turns and then bring the patient back after two or three weeks. Immediately insert those elbows if you wait too long to insert the elbows after expansion, the patient will bite on those occlusal tubes and those tubes will flatten and you won't be able to get the elbows in. Let me know if you've had that problem. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to this page. Thank you for supporting the JCO.